Welcome to our paddleboard yoga, our session number three. So we're doing a combination of the last two sessions that we did. Plus we'll try to do um, a couple of little versions of sun salutations. Sun salutations are hard to do on your paddleboard, just that stepping forward. So we might just walk forward to our forward folds and walking back. And we've got our little chippy here. He'll be joining us today. So happy with all his peanuts. <laughs> Let's start seated. So making our way onto our seat and into an easy crisscross. Now it can feel good for you to be in this position or maybe it feels better for you to be facing forward. I would choose which way you feel like you would be on the water. I would assume most likely this way, but I'm definitely not a paddleboard expert. So let's come into ourselves. We can close our eyes, crisscross, and sit up nice and tall, rolling those shoulders back and down. And we're gonna find some softening in those shoulders and length in our neck. We can close our eyes or keep them open, especially if you're out on the water later. Choosing where we wanna have our hands, facing up towards the stars, if maybe you want to bring in a little more wisdom or connection up to the sky. If you're feeling like you need to ground yourself a little more, then we'll place our hands facing down towards Mother Earth. So again, let's roll those shoulders back, find some length in our spine, and then bring our awareness to our where our sit bones are pressing down into the boards. Try to press down equally into both of our sit bones, closing our eyes. Breathe. So good to breathe, to feel, and to listen to your body. Letting go of all competition this afternoon, any judgment or expectation that you may set on yourself today for your practice or, or even that long to do this you might have. Let that go for the next uh, 40, 50 minutes. Taking in a few more deep breaths, using the beginning of our class to center ourselves. To let go of outside distraction. A big, beautiful breath in, and we'll start our warm up. Let's inhale now, sweeping our arms up to the sky. Nice and slow, sweeping them up. And then exhale, bringing our hands back down to our side. Inhale, sweeping. Exhale, bringing them back down. So warming up the sides of our body right now, keeping our core strong. If it feels okay for you and your balance, closing your eyes and touching your thumbs together up at the top of our movement. Take a beautiful breath and we'll start our twists. Twisting over to one side, so the left hand goes to the right knee, and then we reach up, and we'll twist to the other side. And continue to flow, so think about maybe reaching back to the board as you twist. If you're taking care of your back, take a little bit off. So we've got about five more of those flows. Just gonna check the waiting room to make sure no one uh, was left behind. We don't want to leave any friends behind. Other twists. And then we'll start the lateral flexion. Inhale, we reach up. Exhale, bring a hand to the side of the board. And then reaching the opposite hand up, but think of still pressing down into the sit bones. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, over to the other side. Still anchoring our weight so that, of course, we wouldn't be tipping over. Few more times. You can look up under the elbow if you want to. Start to warm up the neck and reminding ourselves that all of our yoga on the water we need to move just a little bit more mindfully, a little slower. One more here. Let's bring our hands back behind us, opening up into chest expansion. Taking a few deep breaths here as we feel 
our lungs expand on the inhale. On the inhale, sweeping arms up, we'll bring our hands to heart center and dive forward or maybe touch your board. Bowing down and sweeping up and let's continue with that. Sweep up, anchor through the sit bones and dive forward. Warming up our spine in all different directions. Last one. This time we'll sweep our arms up on an inhale and then bring our hands back behind us, exhaling. Fingertips towards our backside. Inhale, lifting up the hips. Exhale, bringing the hips back down. Couple more. So to think of dispersing the weight into both of the feet, both of the hands, lifting up. And down. Last one. Come to our easy crisscross or soles of the feet together for our butterfly. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, diving forward. Holding here for three breaths. Let the hips relax a little bit. If it's a little too intense for the hips this early in the practice, then our easy crisscross is an option. And inhale, sweep up. We'll bring our knees together and make our way into our boat on an exhale, nice and slow. Holding on, checking out maybe where you are on your board. Adjust your weight if you need to. Anchoring down into both of our feet. So that'll engage our posterior chain, nice and strong in the backs of our legs. Do a little flow here as well. Inhale, just reach the arms up. Everything else stays grounded. Exhale, bring the hands back by, by the knees. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bring it down. As you go through this one, notice what the core is doing. A little more sensation in the core when we extend these levers, those hands up long. Still press into the sit bones. All three. Listen to your body. Lift up. In our boat, if you want to, reaching your hands long. You can play around here with lifting up one foot, but then anchoring down, lifting up the other foot. Let's bring our hands under our knees. Across the chest and now we're holding on the backs of our legs and if you want to we'll do your pipe if you were in on the water you'd want to be nice and centered so our pike pose we can have our regular boat or an option to grab behind one calf and extend maybe just look at that toe That feels okay. And you want to slowly on an exhale put the foot down. Inhale, lift the other foot. Exhale, anchor down to the sit bones, pressing into this foot that's down as well. Placing that foot down on an exhale. And if it feels okay, lifting up both legs or holding onto your boat, just the main boat. Legs go down. I find that one pretty intense. And our hands are actually going to come back now. Bringing the forearms down onto the mat and without being up. It's a little more stable on your board so that you get that anchor down. You can look between the toes and let's add a little flow. Exhale, bring the feet down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Notice we're starting down on the mat. We're going to for the board. Now we are going to put the soles of the feet together. Walk the hips down a little bit. Go right down onto our backs. And we have a little flow here as well. 
So let's put the soles of the feet down on the board so we come into bridge. Lifting up the hips, inhale. Exhale, soles of the feet come together. Hips go down, we go into the spine, butterfly neck. Inhale, pressing both of the feet down and lifting up into a three legged uh, bridge. Exhale to a regular bridge. Inhale, come down to your reclined butterfly again. So we're opening up the inner thighs. Exhale, feet go back down, press into the board and lift the other foot, three-legged bridge. Exhale, bridge. Inhale, reclined butterfly. Exhale, three-legged bridge. The breath in and then exhale to your bridge pose. Inhale, lowering down. Exhale, three-legged bridge. Hold here, breathe in. Exhale, regular bridge. Inhale, butterfly. Almost done with this flow. Exhale, three-legged bridge. Inhale, regular bridge. And hold for a breath. Make sure to breathe. Lovey, lovey, lovey. Let's hold on to the sides of our boards and drop our knees down to one side, maybe look over the other shoulder. Holding here for three breaths, maybe your hands, you imagine them in the water here, and your shoulder there, enjoy the press down. And all the way over to the other side, so maybe go to the other side of the board, maybe we look down the other shoulder and have our hands in the water, if that feels okay. All right, my friends, we're going to make our way to all fours. So we'll roll over or sit up to a forward fold and then go into all fours. Probably would go a lot slower on the water. You wouldn't be able to most likely adjust your pants every five seconds like that. But I love these pants, so I'm not giving them up. Okay, all fours, enough about my pants. Grab a drink if you need to. Alrighty, all fours, let's press into both of our hands, spreading out the weight, and the elbows creases a little bit towards that short edge of your board so that you can rotate those shoulders in to hug the spine. Three. Let's look back over one shoulder, over towards that opposite hip. Just check in with the spine there. Come chip, chip. And then extend that neck, and we'll look back over the other shoulder. So we're looking towards the back end of our board. Still pressing in the board. And come back to center, all fours, moving into cat and cow. Exhale, and cow. Inhaling, cow. Exhaling, cat. Take a moment to come, become aware of that pelvic floor drawing up on the exhale. And then inhale, relaxing it. And stretching, inhale, drawing up, and then the belly button comes up towards the spine. Inhale, into cow. This time, press down into your board, into your knees and your hands. Inhale, open up into cow. Let's do one more cat, one more cow. On the next exhale, back to child's pose. And walk your hands a little bit longer, rest your forehead on the mat. If you do bring your forehead to the mat, it's nice to massage your forehead down. It's really a calming sensation to your nervous system. Feeling great, feeling secure. Coming back up to all fours, you may need to draw those hands back underneath the shoulders. Let's reach just our right arm forward so we're still anchored into the other four parts of our body and then bring it down. So we're gonna go around the world. Other hand reaches long, Keep reaching for that one in front of you. Exhale, bring the hand down. Now the left foot will go back. Think of pressing into that board or just a tap of the toe or crunch if you can. And then move down, other side, so we're reaching. And then maybe we'll add a flow. 
bringing it to all fours. And let's add our flow. So this would be a little more challenging on the water. You can try it later. Let me know how it goes. I might try it too. Right arm forward touches the board, left foot back. Back to all fours, other sides. And if you're feeling brave, well, you should, should be brave, you're not actually on the water. We'll reach long, bringing the hands off the board. I am gonna try this later. I'll let, I'll let you know how, how it works. <laughs> Last one. This time, we'll reach right arm, left leg or opposite, and then elbow underneath a little crunch. Inhale, reach. Let's do about five on this side. Lengthening and strengthening. Last one. Exhale to all fours. Inhale, other side. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, long. Remember, we're moving slowly, mindfully. Breath to breath. Last one. Good job. And let's take a little break in child's pose. Of course, an option if you wanted more sensation would be downward dog for child's pose anytime. I love child's pose. You can stay here as long as you want to take a little nap. All right. Let's come back up to all fours. And a little lift of our left heel up towards the sky. And then we'll be pointing that toe and lifting up the leg trying to reach well. I imagine my foot is super close to my head right now. I don't know about you guys. And then we bring it back down the other side. It's called tiger tail. Anchoring the both hands and the foot. We lift, point the toe, and reach it for our head. Bring it down. All right, take a little seat again, crisscross. Maybe this time, if you were facing the short edge, this time you'll face the long edge. See how that feels. And another little bit of lateral flexion for our spine. So this time reaching our right arm up, taking it over to our left knee, and then our left hand reaching up and over. We're holding onto this knee. And then the other side. So breathing in, reaching up. Exhale, bring right hand or the opposite hand over to the opposite knee. And then this arm will reach up and over. We'll bring both hands to uh, the knees and move into a seated cat pose. And then a seated cow. A couple more. Back to all fours. First weight, make your way, take your time. Flowing puppy pose or thread the needle as some folks call it. We'll stay on one side and then switch. Inhale, reach that left arm up. Exhale, sweep it through towards the water on the other side. Inhale, reach up, little twist. Exhale, reach it across. So this opposite arm is lifting and lowering you. You can think of doing it's working your chest up. Last one. We place that left hand down on the mat and do the other side. Reach up. Sweep it through, maybe reach towards the water. Two more breaths. Holding those poses just a little longer, flowing just a little slower. Back to all fours. Wonderful. All right, it's time to make our way to a lunge position. So that left foot will be bringing it up between the hands or to the inside of the left hand. And that right knee is back on the mat. Sink the hips down into a hip flexor stretch. And we will rise up into a lunge. Inhale. Holding here, notice where you're anchoring that whole front foot, the back knee, the shin, the top of the foot. Two. 
taking care of your back, bring your hands to your heart. And now we'll add a little twist with options, of course. First one will be hand to knee and hand opposite hand to low back. You can sit down a little more if you want to. Or you'll bring your right elbow, hook it on the outside of this knee. Stack the palms here for your twist. Or bring that hand down to the mat. That one would be nice and stable and this arm will reach up or tuck it back. Five breaths here, nice stretch for your hip flexor. Rise up, reach that left hand back, right arm forward. So we've got a nice high twist here. Inhale, bring both arms facing the front of the board, reaching them up to the sky into a lunge. Exhale, press into that front foot, shift the hips back, reach the arms back. And let's flow. Inhale, reaching up, stretching hip flexor. Exhale, bringing hands back, stretching the hamstring. Wonderful. A few more of those. Let's build some heat. Oh, goodness, I'm having trouble balancing on earth. This could be an issue for water. I'll try it later. I'll let you know. Just one. And let's frame the front foot with our hands. Sweep that foot back and bring the opposite foot up for our lunge on the other side. So sinking into our hip flexor, we'll rise up. Find the breath, make sure to breathe. Stay here. Closing our eyes if possible. If you were out on the water, more balance can be found by bringing your hands out nice and wide. I can't wait till we can do this together in the water, you guys. Let's add our twist as an option. Hand across to knee and lower back. Or knee to elbow. Or hand to board. Opposite arm up. Same thing hip flexor, still pressing into our feet, listening to your body, the outside, notice nature, feel that connectedness to the earth, the stars, and then rise up into our high twisted lunge, so our left arm's going forward, and then back, actively reaching, And let's sweep up into our lunge. Arms reach up to the sky. You can look up if you want to. If your back feels good about that. And then let's start our flow. We shift back. Hands reach back. If it's too much for your balance, just bring your hands down to the mat. Inhale, shift forward, reaching up. Exhale, shifting back. So make sure to do what feels good for you. Empower yourself to listen to your body. Empower modifications. Actually, let's do two more. I just love this one. Can I touch the board? Okay, let's bend that front knee. Tuck our back toes onto the mat. We'll lift it up. And then take the right foot back to the center of the board. Bring the left foot up. And let's float into monkey pose. Coming halfway up on an inhale. Exhale, folding. Flowing through a few more times. We've got a little bend in our knees. Now we will bend our knees, rise up into a chair pose, either hands at heart. Sorry, I just have to adjust my favorite pants. Either hands at heart, hands out, maybe they're out for balance. And we find ourselves in chair pose. Working on balance today, if it feels okay, let's lift the heels. See how that feels 
to be balancing on the balls of the feet and all 10 toes. Hands could stay at the heart or you'd reach them up long. So if you're out on the water, you may feel more anchored to have both feet down. And if you want to play around and have fun, then you lift your heels. And fold, exhale. Wonderful. So let's move through um, just a, a modified sun salutation. Sweep up, inhale into a nice big uh, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Monkey pose, breathe in. Exhale, fold, step back to Chaturanga. So that's halfway down or all the way down, then up dog. Or cobra, striking cobra, and downward facing dog, exhale. Walking our feet up towards the hands. Moving into monkey, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweeping up. Exhale, mountain. Let's do that again. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, dive into forward fold. Slow. Inhale, both hands go down, feet go back. And then exhale to chaturanga. Or all the way to the back. Open up into cobra. Or up dog, tap the toes, exhale to downward facing dog. Wonderful. Open your hands up towards the feet. Inhale to monkey. Exhale to pull. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, mountain pose. Let's do that again. I'll mix it up a little bit this time. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, monkey. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale into that straightening cobra. So the tops of each one is met. We open up the chest. Exhale, chaturanga or down to your belly. Now make our way back to mountain pose. So we push up, downward dog, walk our feet up. Wonderful. Sweep those hands all the way up and let's get started with some strength poses. We'll turn the long edge of our, our board, right foot forward, left foot back, or whatever feels good for you. And let's settle in to a few more balance poses. Our toes are kind of out on an angle and we're coming down into a nice knee pit. Bringing our hands up, maybe palms touch, or you can have them out for balance. Nice and strong through our pelvic core. We've got our belly turned on, nice and strong and engaged. And if it feels okay, let's lift the heels and breathe. Creating some inner thigh strength and stability ankle strength and stability. Five, three breaths. Feet will go down, we'll straighten the legs and reach arms up. Really pressing into both of your feet. So on the water, you have to be using all those little tiny muscles and the muscle fibers to hold yourself steady here. Actively reaching to the stars once we press down. Close your eyes. Palms will come back together. We'll bend our knees back down. Lift the heels. Let go of any judgment. Feel and appreciate your body and all the miracles that surround you today. Pressing the heels back down, straightening the legs, a little bit of space between the hands. And let's move into warrior two, taking our right toes towards the short edge of our mat, bending our right knee, maybe walking that back foot back a little bit. 
making our way into warrior two. So anchoring through both of those feet, that front foot be right down the center of your board and the left foot, the heels actually lined up. And we're pressing into our feet. Close your eyes, maybe gaze down your hand. A little flow today for our arms. We'll reach our back arm around, call this archer's pose. Reach that back arm around, grab your bow string, pull it back, follow the hand. Let it go and then bring that hand back. And we're looking down the back hand now. So now we'll follow that hand around. Pull back on the bow. And then let that hand go back and we follow it with our gaze. Try that in all on our own, bringing it around. Inhale, exhale, pull back. Inhale, open. Exhale, bring it around. Inhale, pull back. Exhale, bring it around. So match your breath. There's no right or wrong way to breathe through this. You're strengthening the shoulder. I like to think of any obstacles in my way. You know, nice and strong, your warrior, warrior women. Find that strength. Last one. Right, straightening out our front leg and reaching our arms up. Pressing into both of our feet. This is more like a, a reverse triangle. So you could take your back hand down your back leg and reach a little bit more, but this will be pretty intense um, on the board. If you're on the water, you wanna keep your eyes maybe in front of you rather than up at the sky for this one. Well, let's turn our right toes forward and switch to the other side. Left toe bends or left toe points towards maybe the back edge of your board to bend your left knee. We open up into our warrior, settle into the strength and support of that, that rod, right? That runs through you, that strength within. Maybe you can just call it your spine. Relax the shoulders and soften. And then look down the opposite hand. Breathe. We can add our archer on now. Bring it around. So that hip turns a little bit. You pull back, let it go if you want, and then look back down the hand. So we're also working our neck. We walk our hand around, pull back, and then watch that hand go back. And then add the breath. There's no right or wrong. One inhale for one move. One exhale for another move. Because there's three moves in this flow, it's gonna be different every time, which is, is pretty cool. Shoulder getting stronger as you reach every single time. You're always reaching forward and that opposite hand. It's gonna really reach back each time. Last one. Moving into our reverse triangle, straightening out our front leg, reaching that front arm up, back arm back. Or you can have your arms out, of course, if you wanted to have a little more balance. Balance is good in all things. Yoga, life. Let's make our way back to that little star position, pressing into both of our feet, reaching up. Exhale, bending our knees. We're gonna tick tock our way in and actually do our little arm balance as a little fun addition to this practice. So maybe you do shoulder stands or handstands and things like that. You can add that in now, or we can try just crow with me. And I have a couple options for you if you're nervous. Maybe grab a pillow for your, for your nose or your face, or just stay with this nice wide squat. So we're here. If you're doing it lengthwise, um, you want to make sure those hands are 
in the center of your board. Personally, I'll glue it forward facing the short edge of our board. So let's start with the squat. A nice wide squat. If it's really intense, you grab a block or something, pop up your um, sit bones. And this can be enough for you. Roll the shoulders back. You are not alone if this is enough for you. This is pretty intense. Or we'll really squeeze the back of the inside of those legs onto our arms or rest your knees in your armpits. That's more of a straight arm um, crane, but today curl. Bend it here, lift onto the toes. Make sure you look forward and then you can lift one toe or the other into our curl. Some days it comes easy, some days it doesn't. One more time, maybe today you're just lifting the toes, cat backing in, looking forward. If you looked back at your feet, you'd fall. So make sure to look forward, maybe even at the front of your board or somewhere in front of you. All right, let's take it down to our knees. And reach our left hand back for the board. Just a little stretch and a nice little twist here. You're bringing the opposite hand over. And the other side. Twist for our quads. Not a twist for our quads, stretch for our quads, twist for our spine, maybe our neck. And rising up, inhale, reaching both hands up. Breathe. Let's make our way into camel. You can have your hands um, into your lower back, like fully supporting your lower back to so draw your elbows towards each other or fists. Find the little dimples back there in your lower back, draw the elbows together. Think of opening the chest, not about reaching back. We wanna keep our knees underneath our hips so that this stretches this whole front of our body. Open up. And then of course we always have options, right? Let's tuck our toes down if we wanna try those options with the heels reaching our right hand back for our right heel, left arm up. Starting that one arm camel. Bring your left hand to your belly, or at least that's what I like to do. Engage that belly, make it strong, bring it up. Other hand back. Our bellies do bring us children, but they take quite a quite a workout being pregnant. So you want to take care of them and love them, right? Appreciate everything they've done for you. Bring that hand to your belly, engage, lift it up. If you want to do full camel now, you can. So you both of your hands will be reaching back for your heels, but you're trying to keep your hips on top of your knees. Think of it more of a chest expansion. I'm gonna look forward. It's up to you where you wanna look. All right. My friends, take it to child's pose. A little counterbalance for your back. You can have a lot of space between your knees if you want to. Tuck that tailbone one under a little bit. Roll into it. Tuck yourself back down on the board. Oh no, she's okay. Hold on. Ding ding ding. So you're in child's pose. I hope I got her in in time. In child's pose. Heidi, I hope you got in. We're going to make our way to our bellies now. There we go. So make your way to your bellies. Wonderful. Position. I hope I got your message in time, Heidi. My my phone, my watch is on, but it's on silent. Butterfly. Okay. That's a good 
cobra pose. Actually, let's do um, let's do locust today with a few options. So our hands are going to reach forward. We're going to be pressing down. We are pressing down into our fingertips, so it's cup hands, and also into our toes at the back, so our quads are strong. If we want a little more, we'll reach the kneecaps off, the thighs off a little bit. And if it feels okay to unanchor the hands, we'll reach the hands long. We could put them in the water too, that would be kind of fun. Both hands will come under our shoulders and we'll push back to child's pose again. Walk your knees in to make it feel a little more. And then you'll be rolling back onto your backs. We'll do a little bit of ab work. So hollow man, which is um, basically just hollowing out your body. We want to press our lower back down and have our hands reaching towards our feet. And then we'll bring our knees towards our nose, take a little punch, exhale. Inhale, hollow man. Exhale, crunch. About five or six more. If you want to put your head down for hollow man, you can. The closer your feet are to the mat on that hollow man. Knees into chest, take a little rock side to side. Down on the heart, lifting up into our bridge pose. Our hands can be in the water or underneath us. Slowly lower our spine back down onto the mat. And just like our flow we did at the beginning, this is the, the longer hold. So we're we'll moving to our supai butterfly. Lay down on the back, let the shoulders melt down. You can have your hands in the water open. Whatever works for you. Letting our inner th thighs stretch with gravity. Effort on your part. Each breath you take in right now, imagine it's stretching your rib cage, it's stretching your lungs and chest muscles from the inside out without any effort whatsoever. From here, we'll be moving into our Shavasana. So the soles of the feet will now come apart. You could have your legs a little bit. Oh, sorry. Oh, our feet will go into the water, or they'll stay on our board. Our hands can be in the water. Close your eyes. Settle in. Hope that the practice allows you today to stay in this position for five, ten, as long as you can, as much time as you can carve out for yourself. Please do so much. Feel the breath big. Allow your jaw to soften. Some space between your teeth. The eyebrows, no touch. The shoulder blades melt down. You notice how the spine feels now. And imagine walking in the water. Thank you. 
as long as you can today. And end our practice. The light, the love, and the good things inside our community sees and acknowledges that. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you for being here.